Hi everyone, it's Carissa at Sprinkled with Glitter and I am here with a card project for you today. I needed to make some thank you notes for all the fabulous Christmas gifts that I got. So I went ahead and rummaged through my stash and I'm using a few older things. Now the stamp set and the die are from Simon Says Stamp. Those are the Tilted Banner Sayings and the Tilted Banner Die Set. And I'm also using this large snowflake punch by EK Success and I'm punching a few of these snowflakes out of vellum. And I'm making a few different cards at one time, so you're going to see me kind of hop back and forth and, and do things in multiples here. And I will show you two different versions of this card. But I was really looking for a break from the red and the green and the craft that I feel like I've been using um, through all the Christmas season. And so this one's going to be funner and brighter, but it's definitely going to have a winter feel, feel still. So now I'm just cutting these banners out of some Nina Solar White cardstock, and I've cut three out because I'm making three cards. And now I will take my Just Saying Thanks sentiment and mount it onto my stamp block. Now I laid it on my craft mat or my work surface there and picked it up with the block so that I made sure that it kept its natural tilt so that it would fit perfectly on these banners. And then I stamped all three of my banners there with some slate ink from Simon Says Stamp. Now, I pulled out some older pattern paper for this card as well. This is Fifth and Frolic from Dear Lizzie, and I'm just going to pick out a couple of patterns that I think I want to use, and the first one is going to be this blue one, and I'm going to trim this down to about one and three quarter inches wide because I'm going to make a nice big banner shape, and then this striped pattern or this kind of chevron pattern, I'm cutting three different strips of half inch wide. And so I have those all ready to go, and you can see the blue piece there. Um, I'm just cutting a little banner end in by slitting or cutting up the middle and then cutting from each corner to that middle slit. And that gives me the perfect little banner shape. Now I wanted to add a little sparkle to these cards, so I'm using a little bit of my favorite glitter paper. This is gold glitter paper from American Crafts, and I'm going to add it to the snowflakes as, as well as alongside of those long strips of paper. So I just have a little tiny piece here that I cut into a banner, and then I'll cut one of these half inch strips. I'm going to use a little angled piece of that as well. And these are going to attach to the snowflake. So I'm just cutting a few little banner pieces as accents. And then when I get them all cut down, I am going to staple them to these vellum snowflakes. I thought this was the best way to attach them rather than try to hide adhesive. And they're just gonna peek out from behind there. And once I got all those stapled, I went ahead and added some foam adhesive to the back. Now, those papers also allowed me to hide that foam adhesive, which worked out really well. Because I think that when you add some lift to vellum, it adds to that nice, really cool, translucent effect that it already has. So I wanted to add a little nest of some gold thread behind these. This is the DMC Light Gold. So what I'm doing is just taking a length of that twine. I wrapped it kind of around my fingers, and then I'm using a glue dot and just smushing it into the glue dot there. And then I will attach these behind the snowflake just like that. I wanted to make sure that I had this exactly how I wanted. But I went ahead and made all three of my gold nests ahead of time, and they're kind of laying there to the side. So now I'm going to attach this gold glitter paper to this pattern paper, and I just used a little tape runner adhesive for that. And then I'm going to attach the striped paper alongside of that as well. And I kind of like to add my tape runner adhesive and then work from the front so that I make sure that I get it really nice and even. And then I can take this whole piece and adhere it onto a card front. This is some Nina Solar White. This is the 80 pound Nina Solar White cardstock. And so once I got that all adhered down, then I went ahead and used my paper trimmer to trim off the rest of that. I could have used my scissors. I honestly, either one works, but um, I thought I'd get a cleaner, straighter cut along that large piece with my paper trimmer. So now that I have that all trimmed down, it's time to start assembling this. That glue dot, I just took the backer off of that and applied that little nest there, and then my snowflake with the foam adhesive over that. And then this die already has some um, scored lines in it, so you can just fold along those score lines. And then in the middle of this banner, I'm putting a double layer of foam adhesive. And then on each of those ends that's folded back, I'm just going to put a single layer of foam adhesive and then adhere that right over the front or the top 
of that snowflake kind of um, cluster there. Now to add a little bit of sparkle, I just love these sparkling clear sequins from Pretty Pink Posh. And I have them in, I believe, the 4 and the 6 millimeter. And I'm applying them with a little multi-medium from Ranger in the matte finish. And the way that I'm doing it here is not ideal. <laughs> and I kind of did a few things out of order, but that's okay. Now once I got my sequins adhered on, I went ahead and grabbed some foam tape and added it to the back of my card front. Now this wasn't ideal because those sequins were still wet, and so it would be better to add your card front to your card base before you add your sequins, but of course I'm doing things the hard way today. So once I got that all done, I went ahead and adhered my card front to my card base. And you'll see here that I don't do everything right all the time because I adhered this on upside down but I was able to save it and get it on there right side up. And this card base, by the way, is some taffy card stock from Basil, and I just love it. Um, I was turned on to it by Julie Ebersole, and I'm so glad that I bought it. So there is a look at the first card that I completed. And for the second card, I thought I might use this little piece that I cut from a journaling tag section of that Dear Lizzie paper. But I wasn't really liking the very green tone of this, so I went ahead and just took that out all together. And I have a piece of Mina Solar White cardstock here. It's cut to three and three quarters by five and a quarter. And I'm just adhering the glitter paper and the stripe paper the same way I adhered them to the blue piece of pattern paper earlier by adding the tape runner adhesive and then just working from the front side to make sure that I got those all straight. And then I'm going to assemble this in the same way. I'm going to add my little cluster or my nest of thread there and then add my snowflake cluster on top of it and add my uh, banner sentiment all over the top of that. And this is a much cleaner, simpler, both are clean and simple, but this is a much more simple design and takes less pattern paper. And so I decided to go ahead and take the three and three eighths inch corner chomper and round that bottom left corner just to add a little interest on both the card front and the card base. And <laughs> you see me checking there to make sure that I have the card base in the correct way. Now, this was a much smarter way of adding my sequins. I was using a pair of tweezers here. And you can see here is a look at both of the finished card projects. I actually went back and rounded the corner of that first card project as well. Thanks for stopping by today. I hope you've enjoyed these winter themed projects with just a little bit of color and some sparkle too. As always, you can find links to all the products used in these projects in the description at YouTube. You can also find more information and the links over at my blog at sprinkledwithglitter.com. Thanks for watching. I hope you have a fabulous day and a very happy new year.